Hey there, everyone. We are here with Leland Honeyman Jr., Xfinity driver. Leland, thanks for your time. So first question for you, as I ask everybody, what got you into racing? What age, kind of, what would you get behind the wheel of? So I started out when I was four years old when I started racing. Um, four? Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's been a journey. Um, I've been racing for about 15 years now. Um, this is my 15th year in racing. So I started out with off-road trophy trucks. Uh, it's like a smaller version of an actual trophy truck, but for little kids, um, I was four, five, and six when I raced those. Wow. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a unique journey just going from the off-road road course, jumping trucks to now oval and road course racing. So 19 years old, um, and you said you started racing around four. Yep. Has there been a moment in your young life where you, it kind of hit you that, hey, I can do this, and I can go to the next level. I can go to Xfinity. I can go to the Cup Series. Was there a particular moment, or has it just been a general, a general growth? Um, I would say just growth overall. Um, I have you know grew up racing go-karts, bandoleros. I raced a lot of go-karts with uh, a lot of kids that are now in the formula route. Um, they've, you know, went to the Formula 2, Formula, Formula 3, and I think one's almost in a Formula 1 car wow. as of now. Um, but, no, it's like grow, growing up and racing with those kids um, in the go-kart racing and bandoleros and legend cars, late models, um, ARCA trucks, right. and Xfinity. It's, you know, it's a big growth and a, a path that, you know, a, it's a grassroots to the go-karts, to the, you know, bandoleros, legend cars, late models. It's like the grassroots level of NASCAR. So... Everybody starts somewhere, and that's kind of where I started. Um, but it's, it's a different, you know, course for everybody. If you go go-kart racing, you're, you know, more likely to take the road course route, you know, IMSA, F Formula route. So um, for me, I always had my eyes set on NASCAR. I was always a NASCAR fan as a kid, loved the movie Cars, and they always... <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, a quick story. So I was talking to Rajah Karuth, yep. and I was like, you know, what got you into racing? And he was like, Cars. And I'm like, so what kind of cars? And he was like, no, the movie. Yeah. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> that, I mean, that was kind of my thing, too, was I always grew up watching cars. Like, I'd probably watch it every single night before I went to bed as a kid. That's awesome. Yeah. So. Well, like in Atlanta last, you know, when they had the, the three wide, and I saw pictures, and then everybody went to took a picture of that last lap in cars. It's ex the exact same thing, right? It, <laughs> it was. It was. It was crazy. So, um, no, I mean, that's, that's it, right? That's the life. And, uh, you know, the movie Cars is kind of where my path has gone and how I wanted to take my path is, you know, the oval route and NASCAR because that was NASCAR's, you know, movie yep. technically. So, you know, now they're, now they're transitioning more to the formula route with, like, the road <laughs> exactly. course racing. And then they did some dirt off-road stuff right. too and I think Cars too, so. Right. Um, other than that, I would say it's more of the, you know, the movie. And um, my dad always, you know, he grew up having, he had a little go-kart back in his, you know, day. And uh, when he was a kid, he used to, like, race a little go-kart. I found out not too long ago that my grandma actually did a race when she was younger. Wow. Um, it was a one-off race, but it was a race. So I count it as, like, yeah, my grandma raced. <laughs> but it was so awesome. That's, that's fantastic. That's yeah. cool. So... We'll talk about the team and stuff in a minute and being in the Xfinity series. But, you know, now at a point where you are in the Xfinity series in terms of, we mentioned it before we got going, school-wise. Yep. So you are a senior graduating in June, uh, but you say you do, like, online. Can yes, you walk sir. me through that a little bit? And, and how tough is that? I mean, it's not like you have a very slow schedule. Yeah, so, no, I, being a senior in high school is, like, one of the biggest, you know, difficulties for me as a kid um, in NASCAR, racing full-time. Just because, you know, every single week you're always focused on what's going on at the shop and, you know, how, how can I be there to help my guys to make, you know, everything better as a team. Um, doing school throughout the week is, you know, one of my priorities. And I try to get it done, you know, at the beginning of the week. That way I can focus the rest of the week on helping my crew, getting prepped towards the weekend. Um, that way, you know, we're closer to the weekend and everything is getting done racing related. And then, you know, you separate it and make everything smoothly so that was that's kind of my thing is doing school before race weekends right and so I'm not doing it towards the end of the week but being full-time racing in school is hard I have five classes and I just try to get them done got to be locked and loaded in both yeah racing no, and, and school um, in terms of being 19 what has family meant to you in this journey because you mentioned your grandmother and stuff like that the support they've given you the love they've shown you how important has that been in this journey so far 
Um, you know, I started racing when I was four, like I said, and my dad was the one that wanted to get me in a race car, of course. And um, Mom, he, not so much? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, you know, what she was thinking at the time. Um, my mom passed away when I was five years old. Oh, so really? it, Yeah, so oh. it's... Um, I didn't I, know that. No, it's all good. Um, I, was four, or I was five years old. And I was four years old when I started racing, so it, she went to a couple races and stuff. Um, I know she probably didn't want to go to a bunch just because right. you know how moms are. Um, but no, she went to a couple and you know supported my family. You know, I have three half sisters and one half brother. Um, same mom, different dad, but they've always been there. And um, no matter if they're half or if they're full, they've always been. You know, they've always been super supportive, and they are my brothers and sisters, and that's how I see them in my eyes. And um, they've always been supportive. I just raced in Phoenix, so it was, you know, nice having them there and wow. uh, supporting me. And, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome seeing them there and happy. And um, it was very emotional, but I, I really enjoy having them there. Awesome. Well, let's talk Young's Motorsports. How excited are you to be a part of this team and uh, just how good can this team be? So I actually raced here in 2022 um, in the Arkham Nards E-Series, and I kind of have my same group a little bit. It switched up a little bit, but... Other than that, you know, it's I'm very excited to be back here. I raced, you know, Xfinity for a different team last year, part time. Um, I ran eight races last year, but now being full time with Young's Motorsports in the Xfinity series, um, it's actually amazing to me. Just because I can, you know, be here and I can say I, you know, help, you know, grow and you know grow as a team together. And um, if you know, a couple years down the road, somebody else comes along and you know, they want to be a part of the, you know, Young's Motorsports Xfinity team. It's awesome, you know, to say I was a part of, you know, the startup and the help, um, of course. And, you know, all my crew guys, you know, they do an amazing job every single week. And, you know, they work so hard in the shop. And that's what I, you know, I like about my guys. And, um, you know, we bond a lot just because, you know, we get along. We go to lunch and, you know, we hang out in the shop. We joke, laugh. Right. And, and that's what I think it's all about is having a, a good bond with your team. When we talk about the Xfinity Series, and I've been a fan for 50 years of racing, I'll still call it the Bush Series. It's hard for me to call it the Xfinity <laughs> Series. But with that being said, um, for the fans out there, because um, I know how tough it is, can you explain to the fans just how tough that series is? Because to me, you get the guys coming up from the Truck Series to run it. You get guys coming down from the Cup Series to run it. So it kind of like, you know, you mush them all together. But just how tough is the series? I would say it's pretty tough. Um, you know, there's some races this year that are going to be, I think this is going to be the strongest field that we've had in, in a long time, uh, just as car count and how many, you know, good drivers. And, you know, you have to break down the Xfinity series. And I would say every series is like a, you know, you have your A team, your B team, and your C team. And you have to really break it down. And, um, you know, it's, it's harder for the C teams to make it in on time because, you know, there's some, like we'll go to Coda here soon and it will be, you know, there's probably might there might be 44 cars and 38 right. 38 make the show and um, you know people you have, go home people go home yeah and you have provisionals and so it's it's hard for you know smaller teams you know like us say if we we added another car to the fleet and we wanted to go to Coda with another guy and it's um it's it's tough just because you have to make it in on time and going there with 44 cars is it's going to be tough and as a small team it is so. Is there a track you haven't been to yet that you'll go to this year that you're excited to be on? I haven't been to a lot of the tracks. Right. So 33 races, and we go to you know we go to some of the tracks twice. Um, not a lot of them, but we do you know Daytona, Talladega, Vegas, Phoenix. Um, I don't go to Bristol twice, unfortunately, this year. I really like Bristol, um, but a lot of the tracks. One I'm looking forward to is I went to Chicago last year, the street course. Right. And I grew up, you know, racing road course, go-karts, off-road, whatever it was. And I'm excited. I really like the road courses. So that's one of the road courses that I didn't go to last year. And so now I'm really excited to go this year. Yeah, I love the road courses. I think they're awesome. I think Chicago was a brilliant move to, to go there. That's yep. awesome. And we'll see what they end up doing in terms of if they go anywhere else. <laughs> go to the yep. streets in Manhattan. That would be interesting. Um, yeah, I know, In right? terms of we'll get to Phoenix in the fall. You look back at 24, what would success be for you in terms of, of this year? Um, I would say, you know, there's a lot of teams in the Xfinity series that are, you know, cup affiliated. Um, I don't know how many, but there's a lot. And I'd say it moves right outside the top 20. Um, you know, for us every weekend, you know, top, it was, it, I wouldn't say it was easy to get a top 20, you know, three years ago, four years ago. Um, but it's definitely, it was definitely easier than it is now. 
um, now that there's more cup, affili cup affiliated teams um, in the Xfinity series and you know us not being one of those teams it's it's harder um, but I would say as from a driver crew standpoint I would say a top 20 for us is a really good day and you know we went to Vegas and Phoenix and ran 18th and 11th so right. I'm happy and um, and we went to Atlanta and finished 21st too so it had my career best as of last year so I'm, I'm happy. Got it, cool. Final question for you when we sit in this garage right here and you know, I've gone to Stuart Haas and I've gone to Hendrick and stuff like that. Um, not that it's different, but just talk to me about the work ethic, work ethic of, this, of these guys in here. Being for a smaller team, kind of giving it all they have. Yeah, you know, I, my, my crew especially and, you know, I, every, you know, crew member at Young's and, you know, the guys and girls here, they work, you know, they work amazingly hard. And um, the work ethic here, everybody's happy to be here. Um, you know, you go to a lot of shops and there's some guys that are just doing it, you know, just to do it. And these guys are in it because they want to go fast and they want to, you know, succeed and um, they want to be a part of the growth of, you know, you know, Young's Motorsports and, you know, especially now the Xfinity team, um, now that it's new and it's, you know, something that could be, you know, big for Tyler and the right. team, you know, later on in a few years. So um, the growth over the years, I think, is going to be amazing, and I can't, you know, I, I'm so happy to be a part of it this year, and, you know, whatever comes about in the next few years, I'm excited to see how, you know, things play out. Cool. Leland, thanks for your time. Yes, sir. Thank Best you very much. Best of luck in 24. Appreciate it. Okay.